have seen, see, we have seen uh, time of flight, okay? total range, maximum height, isn't it? And the maximum range, these are all the points. Now, the other thing that you want to understand in this, uh, this part of the uh, chapter is Is this a curvilinear motion? Yes. It's a curvilinear motion. Arvedic entanglement it is performing a curve, a curvilinear path. This particular path is called as projectile path. Sometimes it is known as projectile path. If it is curvilinear, it will have some equation. Are very good. I want to check what is that equation. दिखता है सब सर्कल के दिखता है पारावला दिखता है एलिप्स दिखता है कुछ ना कुछ तो दिख रहा है ना वहाँ पे तो ये कौन सा इक्वेशन है वो अपने को अंडरस्टैंड करने का है व्हाट इस दिस इक्वेशन एक्चुअली लुकिंग लाइक फ्यू बेसिक थिंग्स मस्ट बी ऑब्वियस अगेन बी नोट टू अस लोकस याद है क्या ट्वेल्थ का लोकस उसमें तुमने क्या सीखा था? What was locus? Locus नहीं पढ़ा पढ़ा है। Collection of collection of points, collection of points, there is set of points, collection of points, which will satisfy geometrical condition. That is what is locus, sorry. Locus का equation निकालने का एक ही basic concept था, जिसका मैं तुमको locus find करने का है, जैसे कि मुझे इस curve का equation find करना है। I want to get the equation of this particular locus. Are we getting it? So, जिस भी curve का तुमको locus का equation find करना है, you should always consider one point on that locus. उस लोकेशन पर एक पॉइंट कंसीडर करने का। Let us take any random point, you can take any other point। इस कोर्ट के ऊपर किधर भी ले सकता है। Now, here the other important thing you try to understand, the previous case that we discussed, over there I already told you that the point of projection and the point of landing should always be on the same level। मालूम है ना? दोनों के दोनों point of projection and point of landing must be on the same level। But then, while understanding the concept of equation of curve or equation of the projectile path point of projection and point of landing might be at different levels that does not make any difference the equation of the projectile will remain same so whenever a body is going to perform whenever a particle is going to perform projectile motion the equation of curve irrespective of the point of projection and the point of landing irrespective the equation of curve will remain same sometimes when you tell Point of projection or point of landing. अगर unequal level में भी है, तो भी तुम्हारा equation of curve change नहीं होगा। अभी मैं derive करके बताएगा। वो derive it. Let us see what is that equation of curve. वो equation of curve है क्या चीज़? तो जैसे मैंने बताया, locus का concept बताएगा मैं। Locus का concept ये बताता है कि अगर तुमको किसी curve का equation find करना है, you should always select one point of the curve, the variable point. Let us say that point is P. I am going to select this point as P. इसका coordinates x comma y ले लिया, ठीक है variable point p x comma y, ठीक है, so can you understand when I say x comma y, do I mean that the vertical displacement of the particle is y? When you say coordinate x comma y, ये x और y axis ही है ना, उसमें मैंने कॉर्ड बनाया, उसमें point का coordinates x comma y दिया, तो x मतलब इस point का x coordinate horizontal distance, और y मतलब इसी point का y coordinate, that is the vertical distance. So is the vertical distance nothing but y? That's why. Whereas this would be what? X. X. अब वो इधर बनाऊँ मैं या इधर बना दूँ? Is it the same thing? Yes. This is x. Are we getting it? Will it take Will it take some time to reach from point O to P? It is not time of flight. Are we getting it? It is some time. Time of flight कौन सा time है? Start of the journey. End of the journey. That is called time of flight. So to reach at point B, will it require some time? It will require some time. Are we ready? Let that time is T1. T was for time of flight. So for it is T1. Okay, so I T1 time liya. T1 is a time. T1 is time taken by the particle. Taken by the particle to reach to reach from point O, point O to point P. Are we getting? Is T1 the same time to cover the distance X? And is T1 the same time to cover the distance Y also? <coughs> Project and motion का definition ही वो है ना? एक ही वक्त में horizontal है, vertical motion दोनों cover करता है. Are we getting? So the same time T1 is required to cover the horizontal distance, and the same time T is required to cover the vertical distance. If I say, I'm going to call this point as M. So is OM the horizontal displacement of the particle? Is MP the vertical displacement of the particle? Are we getting it? And OM मैंने कितना ले लिया? 
और मैंने पीएम कितना लिया वाई लिया है अब वापस से वही सब कहानी चालू करेंगे ठीक है वर्टिकल डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ अ प्रोजेक्टाइल इज मोशन अंडर ग्रेविटी एंड हॉरिजॉन्टल डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्टाइल इज यूनिफॉर्म और कांस्टेंट वेलोसिटी याद है ना ये दो पॉइंट्स बराबर याद रखो ऑलवेज यू रिमेंबर दीस टू पॉइंट्स वेरी प्रॉपर्ली फॉर अ प्रोजेक्टाइल द हॉरिजॉन्टल मोशन इज यूनिफॉर्म वेलोसिटी and the vertical motion is motion under gravity okay the same concepts will be used over here as well so i can say for horizontal motion for horizontal motion which is uniform velocity isn't it it is uniform velocity i can say speed is equal to what distance upon time that's the only formula available isn't it for uniform velocity Speed is equal to distance upon time. Did you all get this? Is speed, people? U cos alpha. It will be U cos alpha. Yeah, that's right. Horizontal velocity will be U cos alpha, and vertical velocity will be U sin alpha. U is the uh, what you can say velocity of projection, and alpha is the angle of projection. Okay. So, speed. How much did we take? U cos alpha. What the distance covered in this particular time? जो time हम लोग लेने वाला है, कितना distance covered किया उसने? Is it the horizontal distance x? People are doing horizontal motion, is it? So I consider the horizontal displacement. It is how much? X. So I take x. What the time taken to reach at this place? T1. Everybody got this? T1. So can I from here write T1 is equal to x upon u cos alpha? T1, the time of flight T1. X upon U cos alpha, the time taken by the particle to reach from point O to point P is the first part clear to everyone? Yeah. Second part now. For vertical motion, people, what should I say for vertical motion? Very good. For vertical motion, I will say it is motion under yeah. gravity. Have you seen? So S equal to U T plus half A B square. S is equal to S is equal to U T plus half a b square s is the vertical displacement the particle started journey from point o it reached that point p what is the vertical displacement y is it plus y plus y na upward direction sometimes plus y ho gaya is equal to u is the initial velocity the vertical velocity initial vertical velocity what is the initial vertical velocity u sin alpha sabko samjhaiye matlab ye u ka value kitna dalenge U sin alpha. I'll put here U sin alpha into is t the time of uh, flight to reach at point P? Are we Was it taken T1? Yes. Yeah. मतलब मैं T के जगह पे क्या डाल सकता है? T1. Yes, I'll put it this value. ठीक है, wait a minute. Then half acceleration obviously minus G डाल देगा और T1 square है ना? What's the value of T1 that I already have? X upon U cos alpha. Let us take this value and put it there. That means I can say. Y becomes equal to this very interesting people observe carefully u sin alpha into t1 का बाल कितना बता रहा है x upon u cos alpha let's write it down here x upon u cos alpha then we will become minus minus half g and t1 square so this का square क्या बना है x square upon what u square cos square alpha everybody notice all these things ठीक है तो थोड़ा सिंपलीफाई कर देगा विल आई गेट वाई इज इक्वल टू विल यू एंड यू कैंसिल एट दिस प्लेस इज राइट सो विल आई गेट एक्स टैन अल्फा आई गेट एक्स इनटू टैन अल्फा माइनस ऑफ इज इट जी एक्स स्क्वायर गेट इन जी एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन टू यू स्क्वायर कॉस स्क्वायर अल्फा सो फॉर हैव यू अंडरस्� यही इक्वेशन ऑफ लोकस है इक्वेशन ऑफ कर्व दिस इज इक्वेशन ऑफ कर्व आर वेट वेट वाई और एक्स के नाम से आया ना दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ द कर्व दिस इज इक्वेशन ऑफ कर्व इज द कर्व नथिंग बट अ प्रोजेक्टाइल हियर इज इट टाइप में इट्स द इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्रोजेक्टाइल आई वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द नेचर ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन इस इक्वेशन का नेचर क्या है डू यू नो इफ आई राइट y is equal to ax plus b is it linear equation? First degree equation? Linear equation? It will represent what? A line? This is first degree equation. First degree equation. It represents a line. Look at this. 
y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. Is it a second degree equation? It's a second degree equation. It's a quarter equation, people. 